Welcome to St. Mary's. Hosanna, Hosanna, you are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises. Hosanna, Hosanna, come have your way among us. We welcome you here, Lord Jesus. We welcome you here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So today we're celebrating the uh, memorial of Blessed Dina Belanger, and also the first Friday of the month. And so many graces available to us today. Let's open our hearts to the Lord and receive his wonderful mercy. Lord Jesus, you are good and forgiving. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, as far as the east is from the west, you cast away our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you leave the 99 sheep and go after the one lost sheep. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the source of all holiness, who raised Blessed Dina Belanger to the heights of divine love and made known to her the treasures of the heart of your Son, grant that through her prayers and her example, we may faithfully carry out your will in all that we do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, think of us in this way, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive commendation from God. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will make your vindication shine like the light and justice of your cause like the noonday. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Depart from evil and do good so you shall abide forever. For the Lord loves justice. He will not forsake his faithful ones. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their refuge in the time of trouble. The Lord 
Lord helps them and rescues them. He rescues them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, John's disciples, like the disciples of the Pharisees, frequently fast and pray, but your disciples eat and drink. Jesus said to them, you cannot make wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them, can you? The days will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. Jesus also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new garment and sews it on an old garment. Otherwise, the new will be torn, and the piece from the new will not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. And no one after drinking old wine desires new wine, but says the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. As Catholics, something you, you won't typically hear a Catholic say is, I'm 100% sure I'm going to go to heaven. And there's a number of scriptures that kind of justify never saying something like this. And, and one of them is uh, what we heard from St. Paul today. St. Paul says, I do not even judge uh, myself. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Now, as a person who's in love with the Lord and encounters God's wonderful mercy, His goodness, His presence in our lives, we can maybe go as far as saying, I really think I'm going to be in heaven one day because God is so good and he died for me and he's so merciful, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I'll get there one day. But we should never cross that line of saying or even assuming that, oh yes, of course I'm going to go to heaven. And the reason is, in this life, we must have a healthy mistrust of ourselves a certain uncertainty, you know, a, a certain caution. Because we know that we can sometimes deceive ourselves. And that's what Paul is talking about. The Lord will disclose the purposes of the heart. You know, one of the things in my own life I, I, I ask myself is like, am I doing enough for the poor? Or am I doing enough with the gifts the Lord has given to me? or the opportunities he's presented before me, the resources I have, you know, the influence the Lord has given to me. Am I doing enough with it, with the talents the Lord has given to me? And also, you know, when, when I'm honest with myself and look into my heart, there is things in there that creep in, they're not of God. And they're summarized in the seven deadly sins. If I'm honest with myself, I look into my heart, there's a little bit of each one of those. A little bit of anger. 
a little bit of uh, gluttony, a little bit of greed, pride, lust, laziness, envy. And these are things that if we aren't on guard, if we don't keep watch, if we're not vigilant, they can take over and destroy us. And every one of us, this is our, you know, a daily battle, a, da a daily uh, reality. And so, yes, we know that the Lord Jesus died for us, that he shed his blood for, for us, that he opened the gates of heaven for us, and he's so good to us, and he's so wonderful, he's so merciful, we delight in him. But we know that we have to persevere to the end. And there's a certain beauty to the humility of Catholics in particular, because Catholics are especially known for this, that we're like, no, no, no. I'm not 100% sure that I'll get there. It's, it, it's, it's up to the Lord ultimately to, to judge me, and it's up to me to not grow lax or lukewarm or get distracted. Remember King Solomon. Remember King Solomon, so gifted, so blessed by the Lord, so anointed, so wise. And he lost his way. And so again, we remember the words of our Lord Jesus. He who perseveres to the end will be saved. Let us pray to God our Father that he bring us closer to the values of the gospel to renew the church and the world. That the church, the people of God and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord that, we may be, that we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intention of today's Mass, for the intentions of all the souls in purgatory, especially the forgotten, offered by Claude and Ida Bouchard, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as a new people, set free by the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that a lamb could Rescue the souls of men. Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Counselor, comforter, keeper. Spirit we long to embrace. You offer hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost our way. Oh, we hopelessly lost our way. You are the one that we praise. You are the one we Our hearts always hunger for, our hearts always 
there's hunger for. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings pre pre presented here Provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with, Saint, uh, with blessed Dina Belanger and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Pour out your mighty blessing upon your children, Father, this day. Heavenly Father, I pray that you pour out your healing touch through your Son, Jesus, the healer. Lord, heal the wounds of your children. Lord, show your miraculous power. Lord, let the deaf hear. Let the blind see. Let the captives be set free. Let the mute man speak. Lord, raise the dead. Lord, work your miracles, Lord, right now. Just sense the Lord's healing someone's back. Someone has back problem. Your spine is just a source of pain for you. Lord Jesus, touch this spine. Lord Jesus, wrap this spinal cord with your healing love, Lord Jesus. Lord, let your wonderful kiss, Lord, touch this spine. Your breath, Lord, touch this spine and take away the pain, Lord, for your glory. Lord, send your sons and daughters out into the vineyard. Bring in a wonderful harvest. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Does anyone's back feel a little better here? Was that someone here? Was that someone on, uh, on our videos? Praise the Lord. Is someone raising their hand? Does your back feel a little better? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, God. defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, 
cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour 